Welcome to episode 10. In this episode, we're starting off by mixing 120 liters so we can top off our golf course desk. Why don't we start by showing you the golf course coffee table that we recently just finished. Let's check it out. So here it is. We just poured an additional 30 liters on top of this of chill ice two. Now it's going to cure and then we'll sand it all down and start our finishing process. Now that Matt and Ryan have the resin all mixed, it's time for us to pour. So now Ryan's about to pour our first 17 liters into this large table. This is the larger, largest section of the three. So this one's probably going to take about 30 liters all on its own. So that's about 50 liters down between these three sections of the desk. We've still got a long way to go, so the guys are downstairs mixing up another 30 liters. We're gonna get all that poured. Once this cures in about five to seven days, we're gonna demold it, and then we start our finishing and sanding process. And then of course, attaching everything and starting to really assemble this on top of the base units that we built. Our coffee table has been pulled out of the form and now we're ready to square it up. We've already gone ahead and squared the three sides. So I'm going to run the final pass through the slide saw here and get her squared up. We just wrapped up this table for Diamond Guy Toronto, who's a friend of mine. And uh, this is a really cool scenario where we did a little bit of bartering. He makes some of the most gorgeous custom jewelry and it's due time my wife got something really nice. So anyhow, this is his table. Him and his wife move into their new home next week. And I can't wait to deliver this and see the look on their faces. Whoa, looks like you guys caught me uh, trying to be safe again. So since last time you've been here, we've been working on our filing cabinets. Um, last you saw these, they were in the forms, so we've taken them out, cut them into the door faces that we wanted to see, and we sanded them up to 4,000 grit and polished them after that. So they're looking good, and now we've put our doorknobs on this one cabinet. Basically, we've taken golf balls, drilled them through the faces, and then mounted tees on the side to give us those knobs. Uh, from there, we've got the other cabinet that we're working on right now. So same idea with the Titleist front. Basically with this one, we're gonna change up the knobs on it and we're gonna use a golf club for that. We're gonna mount it on an angle here and cut each one accordingly. We've got some pieces over here that we're working on right now. We've got our base cabinet and this one is our top cabinet. From that, we're going to take our slabs to Metalworks today and have them sand it up and then bring them up to uh, finish off the desk.
This Buckeye Burl tables now had two parts of the uh, base coat of the ceramic coat. We're going to go in and apply the last coat before we buff, which is a different product. It's a top coat of the ceramic coat, but you can really see how it brings the entire table to life. Not only does it offer protection, but it really brightens it and makes it very, very vibrant. We're really excited about this product and we can't wait to uh, continue using it on various projects and see how it holds up. Yeah, okay, Matt, be really careful here. This just got ceramic coated. You just skimmed it like that. Did I? Yeah. Okay. You just skimmed it like that. 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 This is our three piece golf desk. Just coming back from flattening over at Metalwood Studios. We had it run through Toothless, their planar sander combo. And, uh, now we're all set up and ready to go for tomorrow and get the sanded all the way up to 4,000 grit. Yeah, by the time we leave tomorrow, it's gonna look like it is a golf course. So now we're on to sanding and with a project like this, we have to go all the way up to 4,000 grit. After that, we begin our oiling process with Osmo Polex 3043, and then our final step is ceramic coating this entire table. So, like always, after all this time, it's finally delivery day, and it is f***ing cold out. It is about minus 17. We're gonna freeze, load up all of our stuff, and head out to the client's house. Now that we're at the client site, we're gonna bring everything inside and let it warm up. Then we'll start laying out our bases to get everything ready for final install. As you can see, the space is incredibly tight, but we're gonna make it work. Frozen. That's what happens when you bring something in uh, minus 20. Welcome so our clients, Ann and Robert, came to us with this desk idea and Robert hasn't seen anything to this point. So now we're gonna get ready to show him and hopefully he loves it as much as we do. So there you have it. It's uh, about as three dimensional golf course as we could get. And you've got, uh, you've got some grommets here to feed your, all your cables through. One in each corner. And then we made your drawers um, out of a real Titleist bag. So we tore it all apart and then we poured it into resin. Oh yeah, it's, it's very heavy. We had to do it that thick because we wanted to get, you know, three dimension in here. So of course, the thicker we went with our actual golf course, the more resin we needed to bring it up. We've developed quite the reputation for tackling projects that nobody else wants anything to do with. The more unique, the better as far as we're concerned. It keeps things around the shop really interesting. This project has been so much fun. We've really enjoyed it, enjoyed working with the clients, and we can't wait for the next crazy thing. And once again, I'd like to thank everybody for following us along on this incredible journey. As always, please like and subscribe for future content. We promise we've got some more great stuff coming your way.